Such a great day the Lord has granted us. Amen. Amen. God has done so much. He has proved of his goodness. He has proved of his faithfulness. And today, we, we can only use our lives to say thank you to all that. Amen. Amen. It's Youth Sunday. Are you blessed? Church, are you blessed? We thank God. Amen. So this morning, I would like us to look into this topic which I'm uh, I've called it understanding what Christ has done for you. Understanding what Christ has done for you. I know if I can have an opportunity of picking two, three people and asking them what is it that God has done for you? Everyone here will be so quick to tell me what God has done for them. Amen. Amen. And I believe most of the things that most of us can talk about it's, it all has to do with physical things, material things, the things that you know that God gave me this and I handled this thing. I, I have a car. God gave me a car. I have a job. I have children. I have a family. So many things that you can point out. But there is more to what our eyes see as in the physical world. Of what God, of what Christ has done for us as his children. Amen. 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 There is so much that God has done for you and I as his children. So, majorly, I want to focus on the physical things that God has given us. We are not going to look into the physical things of what God has given us. We are to look into the spiritual point of it of what God has given us. Because in my understanding, I believe that life is spiritual. And that every single thing that we have in the physical world is as a result of what is birthed in the spirit. Amen. Amen. So quickly, I would like us to open our Bibles in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16. It 
It's a very well known verse. Ni verse you you did my zero bueno. In church. Mumpingo. John 3:16. Yohane 3:16. The word of God says. Mwamulunga kuti. For God so loved the world. Toguti mulungu anakonda ziko la pansi. That he gave his only Korero kuri anapa sabana wake. His only begotten son. Mwana wake obado yeka. That whosoever kuri yense believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. John 3.16 is a very well-known verse in church. We have heard it so many times. Even the Sunday school even uh, Anna, Sunday school. children uh, are well known, uh, are well aware of this verse. Ama a verse. But there is something that I would like us to look into. I know there is majorly when we, we are looking into this, this verse, it has to do specifically with about giving mostly. And sometimes we talk in line with love regarding to this verse. But from the things that I have with me today, that are going to act as guiding lines towards Christ has done for us. The number one thing that I've gotten from this verse is that Christ has given us his life. Amen. Amen. Say Christ has given me his life. Christ has given me his life. Amen. Amen. We see God sending his son Jesus. And the reason why Jesus was sent uh, to the world is that men, after hearing what Jesus is going to say to them, they should come to a point of believing. They should come to a point of believing after believing they should have his very life imparted in them amen amen so this is what god has done to you and me in as far as you are born again in as far as you are born again, God has given you his life. You have it imparted in your spirit. There is nothing that is of God that you do not have. Sorry. There is nothing that is of God. That you do not have. Amen. Amen. You have every single thing that God has imparted in your life. Every single thing that makes God God. Everything that makes up his life. You have it imparted in your life. Amen. 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 Because you accepted him as your Lord of your life. You are his son. I was talking with the youth this other day on, on a topic of knowing your identity. So as a son of God, I was telling them 
That as a son of God, if you are a son of God, it means you are God in human flesh. There is no way that a dog can birth a chicken. Can birth a chicken. There is no way on how a god can birth a dog. A dog will birth a dog. A god will birth a god. A god will birth a god. If we have Jimango born in past Bishop Singini's house, definitely we have Jimango Singini. If I'm born from God, I am his child. I have his very life imparted in me. There is no way on how you can you can be born from God. And then we expect something different. That is contrary. We there is no way on how we can expect something contrary to what God he is. Amen. Amen. So today I want you to understand that God has given you his life. His life we know is the life without sicknesses. Is a life without sicknesses. Amen. Amen. So if we have his very life, we are not being expected to, op- to be operating in sicknesses. Amen. Amen. Sicknesses will come, yes. Yes. But every time a sickness is shows up in your life or in your family, it's not something to make your faith, you doubt your faith. It's something that has to remind you of what you have inside you. It should remind you of the kind of life that you are carrying. It should remind you of the very nature of God that is inside you. If the life of God is all about working in victories, you are not being expected to operate. In a different life than what God has brought you into already. Challenges will come, yes. We can't run away from facing challenges in life. We are going to have them on our doorsteps. But that should always remind you of the kind of life that God has given you. He has called you a victor. He has called you an overcomer. So this is supposed to be your life. You are always supposed to be moving in this kind of consciousness. This is a life that has no beginning, that has no end. We are meant for this life once and for all. It's there eternally. Amen. Amen. So you, God has given you his life so that you can fully exercise that which has been invested in you through his life. Amen. Amen. 
things are not going on are not going on well in your family maybe your children are misbehaving or everything that is not supposed to make you think some other way around it is to act as a reminder of what you have inside you. Many are the times we have said, greater is he that is in me than the one who is in the world. We need to come to a point where we speak this with understanding Having the, having the full knowledge of what we are talking about. We should not just be the ones who just speaks without having the full understanding or the full knowledge of what we are talking about. God has made you a victor. You are to move with this consciousness. Sicknesses come, shows up in a family. We had COVID-19. COVID-19. It showed up. But that should always remind us of the kind of life that we have inside us. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bibles in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Then this is going to be my Bible. Go to a Corinto. Second Corinthians 5. To a Corinto 5. Verse 17. Verse 17. The Bible reads. Bible is going to be a Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. Amen. 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 This is the word of God. And remember, we are talking of understanding what Christ has done for us. So the first point I said, God has given you his life. Uh, the reference verse being John 3.16. sixteen. Secondly, what I want you to understand from the scripture that we have just read is that Christ, you have been brought in a place called Christ. You have been brought in a place God Christ. What should a Christ Amen. Amen. Maybe someone is wondering, can Christ be a place? Can Christ be a place? Yes. He is your place. Second Corinthians 5:17 has just showed it to us. There is a word called in, in that verse. Therefore, if any man be in, amen. Amen. Therefore, if any man be in, Christ, meaning we are in this place. This is a place that we have been brought into. The moment you accepted Jesus as the Lord and the personal Savior of your life, remember you were given his life. And then he has brought you in this place. 
God Christ. When you come in this place, you are in this place once and forever. Amen. Amen. I want you to have this uh, sink deep inside you that I, am, that I am in this place called Christ. You are not outside Christ in as far as you accepted Jesus in your life. Amen. 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 Are we together, church? You are in this place. This is the surface place, Ava. Amen. Amen. This is the place of your, your, of your dwelling. If there are things that are coming to you, those things are not supposed to find you outside Christ. If there are things happening in your life, they are not happening in your life because there is no Jesus, no. All those things that you are facing right now, those things that are not making sense, those things are happening in your life whilst you are in this place called Christ. This is the place of your safety. Amen. Amen. Imagine if Maybe you get confused, amen? Amen. With some things, the way maybe the way they are happening in your life. But then you are in this place called Christ. He is sorting those things whilst you are in him. Amen. Amen. I want you to always be assured that God is handling my case because I'm right inside him. You should have this consciousness inside you. That all these things I'm facing. All these arrows that keeps on coming to me. They are there, but I have an assurance. I have an assurance. That I'm in this place God Christ and I'm in this place forever because most of the times as Christians there is this kind of a mistake that is always in, uh, in Christians we go like uh, just because maybe I, uh, I've made this like kind of a mistake then I don't think um, I deserve to be called a child of God. Or maybe I don't really deserve to be uh, in this place called Christ. But what the word of God has said it, it's always fine, no. Amen. Amen. What God has said in his word, it's always fine, no. There are no two ways about it. If God is saying that if you are in Christ, Meaning there is no any other way he can think of you being outside him. Amen. Amen. You are in him and you are in him forever. Amen. Amen. Can someone say I'm in Christ? And I'm in Christ forever. Let this be your consciousness. Amen. You have been brought in a place called Christ. Amen. Amen. Every kind of an activity that you keep on doing on earth, God wants you to be doing it with an understanding of what he has done in you already. Amen. Amen. Most of the times as Christians, 
Tawiza mbili fengara Kristu. We go like um I'm going to enjoy life in heaven. Timanena guri tigasanga kumamba. This is where I'm supposed to face all the kind of persecutions. Pasiko bona bameri bena tizunzike. Yeah, of course we're supposed to be persecuted. We're supposed to be criticized for Christ's sake. Inde mwa tizunzide ndi to fire Yesu Kristu. But the life of being in Christ doesn't mean the life of problems. Moyo wa mulongo siko rindo wa mavuto taizo se. Amen. Amen. God has given you his life, remember. Mulongo wakupa sa ni moyo wake. You have his very life. Ie mulindi moyo wake. He went through everything already. Ie anadu sakari ya mzambiri. So that you can have the, you can enjoy the benefits. Kulindi mo koza kusanga. Of what he has done for you already. Koza mo ye uji dia negari. So as a child of God in whatsoever thing you are doing in in whatsoever thing you are doing you are supposed to be having this kind of a consciousness of what Christ has done for you already There is This scripture that says in Christ we move live we live move and have our being right. And most of the times what children of God uh we think most of the times maybe when things are happening to us we feel like God is far away from us. But never for once has God been far from you. He's always there with you. And not only with you but inside you. Amen. Amen. We are not talking of living with God afterwards. We are talking of living with him even now. We are talking of moving with God even now. Kusuta ni mulungu. We are talking of being in God even now. Kukandi mulungu bantai wanda gali banova. Being made everything that makes God God now. Bajiye se yenya pengisa mulungu dia kayo mulungu pada gali banova. Not in the life after. Wasadi moyo ugata ya. Amen. Amen. Remember this thing is for eternity. Chintu chincha moyaya. Amen. Amen. I love that song that says Nae nae ndi maenda nae ndi maenda nae yes i knew someone would say ndi zaenda nae it's not about ndi zaenda nae so we to manena what is zaenda nae it's about us working with god now to kamba so ndi muzena ndi mulongo ntai zose communing with god now muzia muzia njana ndi mulongo pada kali bano Now. Not doing that man not ndika panga ndikafika kumwambako. Amen. Mm-mm. If we are supposed to possess riches, riches are supposed to be possessed right now. We are not supposed to possess riches when we go in heaven. Then why did Jesus die for you? Because he was made poor on your behalf. Yes, so that you can become rich. Yes, That's your life. Amen. Amen. That's your life. We live in him. We move in him. We have our being in him. This is your life. This is the kind of consciousness that God wants to be imparted inside you. Every day when you're waking up, God wants you to say to yourself, I'm in Christ. 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 I have his life imparted in me. That's what God wants you to be speaking day in and day out. That's the kind of life God wants you to have. 
Amen. Amen. The third point that I have with me is that you have been made a new creature. You have been made a new creation. Amen. 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 Many are the times as children of God. I will keep on talking on uh, maybe the kind of mistakes that children of God make. We, we do a certain mistake or a certain error. And we let all that cover uh, all that to cover what God has said about us. Amen. Amen. Most of the times children of God takes the devil's voice uh, so much than what God has said about them. God wants you to have inside you what he has said about you. You should have what he has said inside you. And not what is outside his word. Amen. Amen. The word of God says he has made you a new creation. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he, he is a new creation. He's a new creation. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. This is not me saying my mind. Amen. Amen. You have been made a new creature in Christ Jesus. I understand we do have everything about us. We know this is grace and gossip, right? And everything about her remains the same. Maybe the body complexion, Matuvi. the appearance, the, everything about her remains but then there is something that is always registered in the realms of the spirit when you become born again when you are born again Amen. Amen there is a regeneration of your spirit there is a regeneration of your spirit yes so it's through that process that everything about you is, is new. Amen. Amen. When the word says new, it means some, that thing never existed before. It's something of its own kind. It has never been there. Maybe the new charity has a rude person, right? Amen. Then you have someone who is rude. But then when you you are born again, there Amen. is Amen. a new thing that is registered in the, in the realms of the spirit Amen. about yourself. Amen. 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 Everything is new. You do not have a past in Christ. It's all about a sinless. Uh, you, you, it's not about your past mistakes. It's not about the, the, the sins you ever committed. He makes everything about you new. A child of God is a child without a past. 
Amen. Amen. He's a child without a past. He has, he has, he calls you a new creation. And he means business on that. He says all things are passed away. Behold. Meaning you should see. Amen. Amen. It's not only about uh, when you're talking about seeing in this concept we are talking about your perception. How do you look at things? God has called you new. God is calling you righteous. And then you are there, you didn't respond in a proper way to someone. And you let that control every single thing that God has said about you. You, you let that to be something that makes you to define yourself. Amen. Sorry. Amen. But the word of God, when it says you're righteous, it means you're righteous. When the Lord calls you holy, it means you are holy. I believe most of the times, the things that makes us to be maybe Staying in the same point. Or in the same kind of mistakes. It's because of how we have, uh, of what we have allowed, what our eyes should perceive. How do we keep on perceiving about ourselves? How do we keep on seeing ourselves? If you are opening the, the word of God and all oh, you keep on getting, uh, you feel like the word of God keeps condemning you and everything. Yeah. What, what is going to stay inside you? It will all be about condemnation. If you are looking into the word of God, and the word of God is calling you a peculiar person. Is calling you a holy nation. You will let your mind focus a lot on that which the Lord is saying about you. And you keep on investing yourself in that which God has said about you. Many are the times children of God rush for negativities. Instead of going for the positive word that God is saying about them. God doesn't want you to be operating in the negativities. If God says that you are blessed, it means you are blessed. Amen. Amen. I was teaching on giving some other day. I was speaking on on giving some other day, I said, uh, we don't give for us to get blessed. We give because we are blessed. That's what God has made us. Amen. Amen. We give because we have been blessed. And our giving just activates that which is in us already. 
God doesn't want you to operate outside his word. Morongo sawa ufuna kuri muzika muzivanga zinthu kuse kunja kwa mawake. Amen. Amen. We need to invest ourselves in the positivities of God's word. Tiziga zinthu mwa ifenza kuno zokazoka zokazoka. Amen. 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 I love what Nomsa said. She said uh, she said we should pray for the youths. <laughs> so she said uh, so that we can have a conducive environment. Where the youth can voice out. Without being judged. Of the mistakes that they have made. She said Church is supposed to be a family. Amen. Amen. So we come here. We hear the word of God. The word of God is supposed to build us. The word of God is supposed to edify us. It's supposed, it's all about the edification of the body of Christ. Amen. 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 So when you come, what is always speak what is God saying about your life? If your word is coming in a form of rebuke. If a word is coming, yes, when when a word is coming in a form of rebuke. Take it gently and with love. With a spirit of love. Remember, remember it's all about our perception. How are we perceiving the time the bishop is ministering? The time the word is being sent to you. How are you receiving that word? How are you perceiving that word? It's of how we keep on perceiving things. It's in how we keep on perceiving things. That is going to help us grow in the things of God in all aspects of our lives. Amen. Amen. The word doesn't define you as someone who is poor. It defines you as someone who is so full of riches. But it's all about your perception on how you are going to grow in those riches. The Lord of the Word of God says you you have been made whole. You are someone without uh, you are one with without sin. You are one who has been made righteous. How are you getting that word? Are you going to allow that mistake to keep on dominating your mind? When we allow the, the, the errors we have made to dominate our minds, those, those are the things that will keep us on the same level. But when we allow the word of God to dominate inside us, we are sure we're going to see growth happening inside us. We will even know on how to, to speak against every kind of evil voice that may try to rise against us. Every word that tries to speak negatively to what God has said about you. Amen. Amen. The word of God says you, you, you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, Amen. a peculiar people, and God means business on that. Amen. Amen. He means business on that one. He doesn't mean two ways. Amen. Amen. 
You have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Always walk boldly in this cautiousness. Amen. Amen. He has made you a man, a woman of influence. Of influence. Always have that in your mind. Always move in that kind of consciousness. If our lives are so full of negativity, our environments will be affected by the same. If our, our lives are so full of positivity, our environments will also be affected by the same. Jesus was a man of influence because of the things that he had inside him. Now you have been made like him. You are not supposed to portray something that is different from him. You are supposed to be a woman, a young man, of influence. Amen, youths. Amen. 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 You are supposed to be a youth of influence. Because you have the life of God imparted in you. The ones that know that power has been given in them, has been invested in them. We have this power. We are going to go out and lay our hands on the sick and they are going to be healed. Because this is the kind of life that God has given us. Amen. Amen. We are going to be the solution providers. Amen. Amen. Because this is the kind of life that God has given us. I love, they say, Nzuzu uh, Pentecostal Grace Worship Center, a place where everyone is. Yes, a place where everyone is somebody. Meaning, you have something invested in you. You can always give that that is inside you. This is simply to tell you that you are not supposed to look down on yourself. Always take advantage of what God has given you already. Amen. As his child, as one who has the life of God imparted inside him. As one who knows that I've been brought in a place called Christ. And I'm in this place safe forever. There is no way I can be afraid of witchcraft. Because I'm in this place forever. There is no way I can be afraid of attacks. Because I'm in this place forever. It's in this place where we have been made victors. It's in this place where we've been made more than conquerors. At our working places. In our businesses. We call it this light. Amen. Amen. We call it this light. And with this light, we are going to influence our world. In our families, in our communities, we are going to help people understand what God has made them already. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I have the life of God in me. I have the life of God in me. I, ha I have been brought in a place called Christ. I have been brought in a place called Christ. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. Amen. Amen. Let this be your life. Let this be your life. 
Is it the moyo Wherever you're going. Kume muvuite. Whatsoever thing that you're going to do outside. Chama ine munga jire kunjaku. Every single thing you're going to speak that is going to come out of your out of your mouth. Chijo se chama ine munga lankhule baka mapano. Let it birth life. Yes, it's the birth moyo. Let it birth life. Yes, it's the birth moyo. Amen. Amen. Your child is sick. You are, you are not going to define that child as one who's with asthma. Mana ya siguri muzi mo na ngadi ndo do adwal. You are not going to define that child as one with asses. Siguri muzi mo na muthu muzi mo na mo na ngadi ndo do adwal. You are going to define that one as a huge child. Muzi mo na mana ya ngadi. And it is through your confession. Imende njia muzi nina ba kamavano. On how you are going to see that thing established in that child. Amen. Amen. It is through your confession that you are going to see the things you're speaking manifesting in your life. Amen. Amen. It's, it doesn't take a lot to get better in life. The words that we speak makes us. And how we perceive things helps us on how where we can be built up. In this life. It's through your, your words that you build yourself. It's through your words that you destroy your, yourself. Let's choose to speak life to our situations. Let's choose to speak life to whatsoever thing that is going on in our lives. Things are not going on well in our nation. What are you speaking yourself? Speak positivity. Don't speak as one who is in the crowd of the world. You, you have been separated for a purpose. You have been given this life for a purpose. So that you can manifest the treasures that are found in his kingdom. Amen. Amen. You are in this place for a purpose. In the place God Christ for a purpose. So that you can, you can manifest the power that is right inside his kingdom. He said greater things we are going to do, greater things we are going to do than the ones Jesus did. Amen. Amen. You see a pastor raising a dead person and you go like, no, that can't be possible. That's Satanism. Only the, the witchcraft can do that, right? No, God has said it already that we're going to do greater things in this life. It's all a matter of you exercising your faith. It's all a matter of you um, taking advantage of what God has said about you already. Amen. 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 God bless you for being attentive. Amen. Amen.